Hello, BC. Um, spend a little time with you. Yeah, I do have on the same T-shirt as yesterday. What happens with me is depending on um, what I'm doing, you know, uh, if I'm just at home until I uh, go out and do things, um, you know, I just keep the same shirt on that I slept in, you know. So it's, I'm just up in the morning. I haven't haven't left the house yet to take out the, except to take out the garbage. Um, I'll show some records, but I have a, I have a, 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 a thought that I'd like to share and uh, cuz um um I my my view my viewership you know is you know I I can't really tell who exactly is watching but I can tell that my viewership is pretty consistent and and so this idea may it may be heard by some people that I'd like to uh, reach out to you know, um, when I first got involved in the VC, when I, you know, I was on YouTube before I was doing vinyl community uh, videos. But once that became my focus, um, the world has really opened up to me in a lot of ways. Now, what I mean by that is I started by showing records and then I shared a little bit about my records and then I started just sharing my music. And the next thing you know, it has turned into me doing what I've always wanted to do, which is to be primarily living on my art. I'm, you know, I'm barely making it, but right now that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But what I've also discovered is that there are many other artists of all stripes who are participating in the vinyl community. And I, for one, am a fan, um, not of all music, but in general, I'm a, I'm a fan. And I love knowing about other people's involvement in music, even if it turns out to be music I don't like. But I'm always interested, at the very least, to find out what it is you do and, and to hear it once. So since I've um, shared about myself, um, I've learned about other um, vinyl community members who do have um, music out, music careers, maybe past music careers. You know, I'm, I'm going to forget some folks, but obviously right away, uh, Brett you come to mind, Audra comes to mind, and, um, oh, I can't think, there's some other folks who um, performed in the past and have records out that I have, but someone else who um, I really started talking to on Facebook, but is also here on YouTube, is Jeff Klukowski, and it turns out that Jeff is an artist, musician, and that he was, among other bands, he was in the band The Flesh Eaters, the band that was started by Dave Alvin, of the blasters, okay. Excuse me. Now I don't have the <clears throat> the vinyl of the album that uh, Jeff is on, but it turned out that I had a couple of tracks digitally, and um, salty something about salty. Um, I've always liked that song, and Jeff is on the album, you know. And I just that's to me is very interesting and very cool. So what I'd like to do is throw this out. I wonder if there are any other VC members who have, um, oh, Aaron Winter, Aaron Winter, also your band, uh, Standard, I forget the last name, really good, you know, um, as you guys know, Ollie Rules, the Solar System, I'm a fan, you know what I'm saying, Ollie's got all this music happening, you know, that just, oh, by the way, Chris Oliver is this fantastic <laughs> musician songwriter, you know. I'd like to hear about more of you folks that watch videos, do videos, be it country, blues, heavy metal, uh, opera. If you're uh, an author or a visual artist, but you know, because of the VC, I'm I'm making the main the main focus on your your audio and visual art related to music. Would you folks be willing to share more? Tell me, tell us about your stuff. Show us your records, your releases, um, even if they're out of print. And um, I just want to know that stuff. Personally, um, those are the videos. I mean, I am watching videos. If you notice, I'm leaving comments. Um, I'm staying true to my... my <laughs> nobody's knocking me off of my horse. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing exactly what I want. And um, so I watch videos when I have the time and when I want to. And I do. I love the VC. And I would be very interested in hearing more about people's um, music history, especially uh, as performers. 
and, and, and artists and record releasers. Show us your records, you know. Do. Talk about it, please. I'm going to throw go even further. On Facebook, I'm uh, friends with many musicians that are in my collection. I don't necessarily talk to these people all the time, but sometimes I do. Um, recently, Chris Oliver and I had a nice conversation with Linda Perhax. I'll grab the record. Hold on. That woman's record is amazing. We, we talked to Linda Perhax online, and she told us a little bit about her upcoming record. She's got a new... She's got a new record hey, this this is if you haven't heard this people okay this is unreal especially the title song parallelograms the lady was way ahead of the times you know psychedelic avant-garde jazz we had a conversation with her online that's thrilling i've recently talked to ellen fullman an amazing um uh innovator of um instruments that most people don't know shit about. Um, I recently became friends with Cecil McBee, the amazing bass player. Nick D Didkowski from um, Dr. Nerve. Um, I've been a longtime friend. I, we, we don't chat much, but Michael Fennelly of Krabby Appleton. You old timers like me, the big hit, go back, you bet. Yeah, he's a friend. He drops comments. Uh, regularly there's other people um who are known artists and musicians that i've befriended online now this is what i'm saying if any of you guys or any other musicians happen to watch this who have the time make some videos and tell us about yourselves i i there are i know there are a lot of musicians who are not doing a whole lot and even if you are doing a lot, there are some of you that if you thought about it, you have the time to do this. And there are many people who would appreciate it if you would share your legacy in person here. Uh, I'll also go one step further and say that some of you um, artists are maybe um, missing out on the boat here. This is direct access to the people that love your music. Come and talk to us. Um, I had said that I wanted to get more musicians over here. You know, I've had my my co uh, workers, my co uh, band members here, from Rick Agnew to members of Icky Blossoms, and I said I wanted to get more folks here, and I still do want to. It'll just happen when it happens, but it can happen all over the world. Um, share your stories. Show us your records, people. That would be fun. Right quick, so it's like don't want to be uh, waiting all morning for this to upload. Tear Garden, side project of members of Legendary Pink Dots and um, Skinny Puppy. Just pull this out, vibing on it with the uh, vinyl community. I actually haven't played this since pulling it, but I'm going to. Peter Gabriel, this is just so, but it's a Russian pressing. Isn't that cool? This has been on repeat. This is techno intelligent dance music, Oliver Hack, Polar. I had put one of these tracks on one of my mixes, and Daniel uh, Rig Rigby uh, said that it went on forever. That's the point. I can play this for a half hour, 45 minutes on repeat and get lost. This is fantastic. Oliver Hack, Polar. Fantastic. Yes, I re the only regret that I have of not having a regular job and disposable income is that I don't have the money to keep up on electronic music, to keep to buy the electronic music and the metal music I really want. I don't have the money. I played this after seeing them. Big business. This is, this is good. Yeah, this is a good listen. The energy that they put out on record is on the, is that they put out on stage is on the record quadruple single. This is very good. This is not the um, colored vinyl. No no biggie. The new Melvins is very good, but it's not typical, and it will make you kind of... This is fucking good. Melvins just... You know what I'm saying? I'll return to this one more time. 
I greatly appreciate this record. Andy, I know you know that. I contacted uh, the fellow who finally got the clue and is leaving me alone. Only time he would ever comment is to criticize me. And why is he com getting a hold of me saying, that guy's pissed. I gave you that record. You don't have any, uh, uh, no gratitude. That's fucking bullshit. I'd said it a million times. I appreciate it, but I told you honestly what I think of that. Now, if you have any intelligence, you understand the difference between the two. And saying that I don't like the music is not being ungrateful. When I smile like that and I make those snide, someone said my little um, facial expressions are snide. You can take them that way. I'm trying to give you more information. You know, I'm trying to say, come on, God damn it. That's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to be shit. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm a, I'm, I'm a little um, impatient and irritated with ignorance. That's what it is. And, and, and so it'll be like, come on, dumbasses. Okay. I said it, you know. Stop being dumbasses, okay? You know, don't just react. Think. See, you know, I get on here to talk about music and I talk about other things because I got information for you. And something that I've learned that I know is very true about human nature is that anything coming out of a person, whether it's positive or negative, whatever it is, it's a reflection of what's inside of them. So see, I'm, I'm ready for you people that want to come here and diss me. Because when, as soon as you open your mouth, you're letting me know you have a problem, okay? And you're trying to bring it to me, and I already see you coming. That's why I said what I said on Facebook a couple days ago. I see you fuckers coming miles away. What's the name of this band? I still need to get back to it. I've only played it twice. Ancestors, but I really liked it. I thought that it went on long, and that some of these songs could change. They just over and over, you know, and it's like, you know, and I'll make another comment because I think, um, I forget, a friend said in comment about the Dirt Bombs that he didn't have to, the music didn't have to be well played for him to like it. Well, that's true for me. I like punk. I like all kinds of stuff. But there are certain elements that I'm, that, that resonate with me. And I either hear them and I don't. And just to maybe to piss somebody off or to just make you crazy, I'll say it again. Dirt Bombs doesn't have it. Probably live. We could have a, a big mess of fun, but on record, it's it's me mediocre. And that is not saying I don't appreciate the record, okay? Um, wake up and grow up, okay? I say it all with love, okay? Obviously, people, my role here as a human being is much bigger than just telling you about records, okay? And that's what's that's what the deal is here in, in, in Derek's channel, okay? And everything I say, I say it with love, even when it's with irritation and anger. It's the <laughs> I'm still speaking out of love, you know what I'm saying? So, you no, know, either, you know, I have to keep repeating myself because I think that, <laughs> you know, this will sound crazy to some people, but I think that the re radiation from using cell phones is already having an effect on our um, intellect and our brain activity in subtle ways that we don't, the first thing we're gonna do is deny it. I think it's very true. I think that the radiation that we keep hitting ourselves with is having a subtle effect. We've been using cell phones for a long time now. There really is no way of knowing, but I'll tell you, I think that in general, the level of intelligence keeps going down and the level of, uh, civility, patience, and thoughtfulness that people um, extend to one another is lowering, is diminishing. This may have something to do with it. I don't know, but that's what I, I suspect, okay? So, anyway, any of you other musicians that have a history or currently are doing things and have records and CDs Tell us about it. You know, I'm not telling, I'm not encouraging people to get on here and just have a big sale. Hey, and you can get this at, I mean, if that's what happens, that's not what my intention is. Okay. So if there is going to be a future backlash, 
See, I think about everything way too much. So if there would be a future backlash to this idea, because all of a sudden you get a bunch of people coming on Huckster and their stuff, that wasn't, that's not my intention. My intention is to encourage people to share your story, share your art. I love hearing about musicians' work. Um, Warren recently pointed me to a documentary about the Fobs. I haven't watched it yet, but I will because I'm interested. And when I have the time and feel like it, that's what I watch on YouTube um, is music documentaries, stories behind artists. I love it. I love hearing the story. It's got a lot more on my mind, but I'm going to stop here and um, go to the post office, okay?